So there is a, another subclass that is very cool called the Chronergist. Tell me a little bit about this. So yeah, in, in the realm of, of time, focus on Dunamancy, and there are many spells that affect time to some degree, uh, the Chronergist is a, a wizard tradition that focuses on the manipulation of time and the passage of it. Um, you know, many different you know, additions and things have, have walked into the realm of, of time magic and such, and so this is a, a subclass that is focused specifically on that aspect. So imagine a wizard that has the capability, uh, natural instincts that help them speed up in the moment to help their initiative, that they have a feature that can temporarily send an opponent into a moment of, of stasis, freeze time for a moment on you know, an aggressor to kind of set it aside and give the, a reprieve from that entity. Uh, the ability to cast a spell and lock it in a moment in time and hand it to another party member to be released a little point down the road, you know, themselves like small points of localized time that they have control over um, themselves gives them their edge in the battlefield. So it's very much, you know, they're not, you know, ripping the cosmos apart. Uh, I mean, maybe they can at a higher level, I don't know. But, uh, <laughs> but as far as the subclass ability, it's about having those, those abilities beyond spellcraft to adjust, manipulate, and, and take control of small pockets of time's passage in their vicinity and around themselves to their advantage. And how do they do that? And what is this subclass of? It's, it, it's a wizard, right? Like, it's a wizard. It's a wizard yeah. tradition. W wizard who's very good at manipulating the, the passage and flow of time. Why do you like time so much in terms of manipulating it? I feel that there, there are spells that, that fall into this category. Haste, slow. Right. You know, they, all these have are spells that touch on it. But I feel like time is such a, an ever-present factor you know every every adventure is racing against time to finish their you know their their current goal uh you know <laughs> kingdoms rise and fall and crumble into ruins over a long passage of time time is a thing that is ever present but isn't really explored as a a facet of arcane focus on a larger scale where i think like some of the the, the main schools of course are um so for me it was in the theme of Dunamancy and the Kryn Dynasty's development and trying to to be a little more in control of their destiny to to really see how much of this facet of, of Dunamantic manipulation could really help guide their overall goals. That really was kind of the inspiration for the tradition and why they really put a focus towards this type of arcane practice. Okay, so I'm that's my new character. <laughs> <laughs> I am going all in on that type of magic. Uh, I cannot wait to manipulate time. <laughs> uh, how often do you get to do that? I mean, it's, and it's got a big basis in D&D. I mean, like, there yeah. is a lot of time travel, and especially if you're, like, looking at Dragonlance. Yeah. Yeah, so people have been fiddling around with time for a while, and almost all of my campaigns are horribly... Uh, I, I've destroyed the timeline multiple times. <laughs> People have gone back in the past, met themselves. It's like it, it's almost like Back to the Future. It's it's a disaster. But I'm excited <laughs> for this school of magic. It is definitely up my alley. Pre-order now on dndbeyond.com and receive exclusive bonus content with everything that you need to start your own adventure.